Our uh, Mind First Emerging Market Corporate Bond Fund Balanced is a mixed strategy of investing 50% in investment grade and 50% in high yield with a maximum of 55% high yield. So I call it a low entry barrier into our markets because you don't have the full risk of high yield but you get the extra basis points of having high yield in the portfolio. Currently we have a 7.7% uh, return on the portfolio which is much higher than any government bonds and most of our peers. How do we achieve that? Uh, of course uh, we have several parameters which drive performance. Uh, one thing is that we go global on a relative value basis so it's a top down and bottom up uh, combination which is strong tilt on bottom up seeking the right bonds, the right corporates which can add value, which diversify the portfolio. We are broadly diversified about, about uh, over the whole globe. We also have a strong tilt to frontier markets. In our fund we have around 12% frontier market exposure, which are the new emerging markets which we believe will outperform in the future. They have massively higher growth rates. They are still in, um, in a development phase, so therefore we see a lot of potential there. And it's a market which is not played by many participants in the market because the large funds, the multi-billion managers, they have not the capability to move into these markets because if they move with 5 million in such a market, it doesn't make, us make sense. If we move in 5 million in this market, it diversifies the portfolio. We manage two portfolios of close to 400 million dollars each and therefore we are very flexible. We call ourselves a speedboat in the harbor, so we can take a U-turn if we see a wave coming, which is the difference to the large managers. We have a very high turnover in the portfolio. We roll the portfolio once a year, so the portfolio turnover rate is 100% per annum. Of course, in up years it's more, it's 150% because you reach your targets or your spread targets with corporates more often. In down years it's, it's probably around 80 to 90%. This year we rolled more than 100% already, so we had a turnover of $1 billion with our brokers. So that's really one mean how you can always buy new credit spread performance in your portfolio. Uh, on the other hand, we are benchmark agnostic, as I said, and uh, we are very broadly diversified. We have a maximum of 3% per single issuer, which is diversifying risk as well, because the risk is of bond managers, you fall in love with your bonds, with your corporates, you add on positions, and if they have a problem, which you probably couldn't foresee, couldn't analyze, you would lose too much if you have a 10% position. If you have a 3% position, and at our recovery rate, even in a default case of uh, in excess of 35%, we still can't lose that much money that we can't make it back. And that provided us a strong alpha over the last 10 years, and that's what we stand for. Well, uh, I don't see uh, many pitfalls in our markets. Uh, of course, uh, the global world has been slowing, as everybody knows, and we probably slow a little bit more going forward. But uh, our markets have been performing extremely nicely, and we exceed the growth of the developed market growth. So therefore, still constructive for our markets. Of course, uh, there are some uh, obstacles in the market. Uh, one is uh, the strong dollar. The dollar has been strong. We expect it to weaken, so therefore we don't see the risk from uh, a dollar strength, which would avoid investors to move more into emerging markets. Uh, we already saw a tendency this year that the emerging markets have performed nicely due to the fact that the dollar didn't strengthen anymore like in the past couple of years. The second effect is uh, trade war discussions, all these Sino-US tariffs, which we do believe uh, have exceeded uh, more or less uh, a peak right now. We see some harmonization, but it could uh, be a long-lasting exercise and we do believe that Mr. Trump is not really willing to give in that easily because he knows uh, he wants to get re-elected, he needs to have a, a positive sentiment in equity markets, so filtering through the markets we will see that uh, they might be doing a mini deal and that would help as well, but it's more geopolitical news than internal problems in emerging markets. What we also do strongly believe is that China is going to a froth point in, uh, in emerging markets, so they have been correcting a lot. Uh, we are finding, a, we're seeing a bottom finding phase in China in growth. Of course this was led by a change from their infrastructure driven, uh, investment driven philosophy a couple of years ago which was extremely commodity sensitive. So now they move in a consumer um, driven economy which means uh, the middle class will grow more and the uh, 
per capita spending will increase, so therefore we do strongly believe that China could be a surprise, and therefore uh, if that happens, markets will uh, uh, probably uh, be very positive for emerging markets going forward. Last but not least, there's still a lot of uh, single geopolitical and uh, tension in our markets. We had Argentina this year, we have some uh, cases in Lebanon, Ecuador, so a lot of political changes moving from the right-wing politics to left-wing politics, which are normally not that market friendly, but we have seen a very positive move, for example, in uh, uh, Mexico, where we had a president who didn't get the benefit of the doubt, but Mexico was the best performer in our markets this year, snapping back from uh, underperformance in the previous year. The duration of our portfolio is five years. That's more or less in line with benchmark. Uh, benchmark is 4.84 years. Uh, we are a little bit long duration. This is an exception. Normally we are a short duration manager because what's really driving our uh, performance in our fund is the credit spread. So the credit spread is much higher than that one of the benchmarks. So we have in excess of 600 basis points credit spreads, which means you get 600 basis points or 6% more than US Treasury yields, which is really the, the way why you should invest in hard currency corporates. The duration doesn't matter that much for deep credit managers, which was this year a little bit a disadvantage for us because uh, the long duration players were the outperformers. We do believe that's all to change next year when credit managers will outperform the duration players again. Well, I already answered it before in the, in the, in the, in the answer I gave. Uh, the yields in our investment universe are very high, so you can compare it to an equity performance in a dividend fund. So we have a 7.7% yield in our fund, which is much more than what you get on government bonds. So we have a zero interest rate policy. With central banks easing further, uh, there is a tendency for investors to go into more risky assets. So we don't think that there is a, a large risk for risky assets going forward. If you look at the long-term uh, performance of risky assets, they have massively outperformed uh, the traditional assets. So therefore, we do believe that the switch into our markets will be even stronger. Uh, we also believe that the developed market world is growing slower and the emerging market is, is probably stabilizing. So therefore, the growth gap between developed markets and emerging markets is in favor of emerging markets. If you look at the global allocation of risks, this is a different story. In, in equities, about 70% of the whole equity market is driven by de developed markets and only 30% in emerging markets. In bonds it's about um, 65 versus or 75, sorry, 75 versus 25%. So we only have an incremental small part of the markets. If that pie increases and more money moves into our markets, which we do believe is going forward to be the case, uh, our markets will, will uh, sustain this kind of volatility. What we have to accept in our markets is that the markets are volatile they are um, uh, sometimes risk averse if there are some uh, headline news but overall if you look at the last 20 years performance it was uh, outperforming developed markets by a large margin